guys we have an interesting topic this week we've been with a bunch of releases lately and nothing seems to go smooth and that's what we're talking about the state of games at launch because nothing these days is ever finished at launch or into the life cycle of that generation of the game itself and we're just kind of confused by no means are we developers let's clarify clarify that that we don't we are not a game dev right we don't know what the issues are but from a consumer's perspective when you the other day nate spent 130 dollars on dying light 2 and it doesn't work this is where the, you know the questions arise and go what's going on why are we in this kind of state in the first place nate why don't you explain what happened well so me and my brother dying light 2 just came out really excited to play co-op dying light one had a pretty seamless co-op experience especially at this point like they have that refined so heading into this game you have to do a few hour tutorial to actually open up co-op so finally we do it and man for two hours we had like multiple times where we just couldn't connect and then once we did connect you're talking maybe max five minutes where we're actually in the same match together and like just stuff like this man this is opening weekend time yeah. is very valuable nowadays and the, the the rate that games come out you know oh. the ability to move on to the next is like you can do that <laughs> all the time now and when yeah. you get a game like dying late that just doesn't work right away it's like how long is this going to take well you know according to their forms they are addressing it within the next two days sure. as of this recording so you know, that's fairly quick, but yep. when you got games like Diablo 2 or Outriders, where it takes a month, two months for them to fix mm. these issues, like, as as a consumer, it is such a kick in the pants. And by no means am I a developer, but it's just, like, you know, it's not fair. You don't spend <laughs> this kind of money just for something to not work. Because it wasn't even maybe 15 years ago where you bought a game and it worked. Because yeah, there wasn't yeah. live updates that they could just rely on. Well, so anyways, the... I will... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Drew. Here's, here's the thing, right? A game hits gold. Now the game's ready for launch. Basically, essentially, the developers have said, okay, we're ready to ship the game. The game's not done. It'll never be done, right? Not once does an artist ever say, that painting is perfect, I'm finished. There's always something mm. you can go back and do. And as a developer, same thing, right? There's always that in the back of your mind going, well, I could do this or I could do that. And that's why a lot of times we'll see sequels because there's an iteration on the first one. But when you launch a game and it's supposed to be done, the bare bones, right? If you have that checklist, Scott and I were talking about the other day, you know, you form your mm. checklist and then you go check, 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 oh, Battlefield, no school work, right? Like, no. how do you skip that on, on the checklist? So where in all this time invested after delay, so especially when you get back to Dying Light, Nate, for example, delay after delay after delay, you think seven years right so after seven years of development and delays after delays wouldn't everything be ironed out from a consumer's perspective you would think that oh, is and that's why so. this question comes up scott i want to kick it to you because battlefield you're one of our biggest battlefield yeah. fans around and dude that was another one that has a rocky start to the point where a lot of people are just bouncing out of the game and it's only months <clears> old yeah, that one hurts on a personal level. I thought <laughs> Battlefield Five was my least favorite one, and unfortunately, that got uh, upended now. Yeah, Twenty. Uh, I just I don't even want to say the title of it because it's just not complete. <laughs> I feel like I should just stay start with Battle and just stop it there. But yeah, we talked about this checklist because how do you get to uh, putting the game out? It's gold. You've certified it, but it's missing such core components and you could say yeah. the scoreboard is just one piece of it you know there's a a thing in real life with sporting kind of taking away the score and that's not to finish like it doesn't diminish the fun but i believe it does and further to that voice chat how is there still not voice chat and just like nate said after seven years of development i look at battlefield dice and i think how what else have they made in 20 years? How do you <laughs> stumble on something so core to your development? And what do I know? But even when you get a so-called good release, like yeah. Halo, I believe Halo Infinite was a solid release. There's some issue with the online and people's preferences, but that's one thing. And, yeah. But even they had to kind of sacrifice 
forge mode and co-op. co-op. So even when it's considered a good release, you're missing whole sections of the game. That's uh, it's not very positive in my opinion. But yeah. <laughs> and if if it can hurt the biggest of the launchers, the biggest games, the biggest developers, is anything safe? What is the next release? Do you think Elden Ring is going to be solid? Because I'm really hoping so, man. <laughs> yeah, it's scary stuff, right? Like we we've gone, we've all been in that generation where we bought physical copies of games, and that was literally the last time complete games were released. Yeah. I mean, ever since digital games became a thing, there's always been version of games that haven't been complete at launch, and it's starting to become so commonplace now that some people don't even recognize it as a problem. It's just something that they expect at this point, which is ridiculous, right? As gamers, as people that spend their hard-earned money on these huge titles, some of the most hyped-up titles of the year, yeah. some of these games come out, and you can't play them on opening weekend because of server issues, or there's you know game-breaking glitches. I mean, there's so many games that have these major issues, and like you guys said, it's like this huge omission on the checklist like how could you have missed some of these major factors and as consumers you know we're i feel like we're just getting into it even worse and worse as the years go on because they make these games bigger and bigger i mean think about if they put some of today's games on discs like we would have had five six <laughs> discs probably for some games so i mean i i can you know be happy that we we have the ability to get these massive games digitally or even hard copies if we really wanted to but digitally really now is the way to go yeah. and it's it's so disheartening to know because if you don't have xbox game pass i'm sorry to say because certain games come out for free and if it's a flop you don't feel nearly as bad for downloading it you know but if you would have bought uh, battlefield at its full price i think that would have been a huge disappointment to spend that money and find out what that product was when you got it right so i think it's rampant right now in this industry and i don't see it going anywhere because developers have made it so commonplace and it's really disappointing well day and date the game launches there's an automatic day one patch right and that's supposed to be set aside when we get back to that games it goes gold the game's ready but they're not done they're gonna work on tweaking the little minute mechanics that they need to finish and polish up right they have that expectancy of okay if we go gold three months early that means we have more time to squash bugs and polish the game man if you go back to the cartridge days that isn't an option right the game is done and that's when it ships when it's done nowadays it's day one patch we all saw what happened in cyberpunk to the point where playstation actually even took it off the store the first of its ever kind of ever happening like that but then let's take a look at no man's sky yeah it didn't launch well it either but look at the state of the game now so there is definitely redemption possibilities it's just maybe we shouldn't have to deal with that redemption let us know your thoughts inside the game ca i'll be okay you'll pay for that three against one i like those odds count again sometimes you have to become a monster to stay human <laughs> Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway.